When Kirani Webb first traveled to Borneo in the 1990s, she was shocked by the level of deforestation. More trees have been cut than in all of Africa and the Amazon region combined. She wanted to do something about this. So after completing her medical studies in the United States, she returned to Borneo. But rather than being a smart Westerner with all the answers, she decided to listen to the local community. She had a simple question for them. You are the guardians of this precious rainforest that is valuable to the whole world. What would you need as a token of gratitude from the world community? After 400 hours of listening, consensus started to emerge. Locals told her that they cut trees because they need to cover emergency medical costs. And this was the only way for them to get so much cash quickly. They also told her they needed to cut trees in order to get areas where they can conduct farming, the classic slash and burn approach. Based on this, working together with the local communities, she came up with a concept and started an NGO that tackled both of these issues. She offered starkly reduced medical care for communities that stopped illegal logging. And she trained locals in organic farming. Those who actually couldn't pay for the medical costs, they could pay in kind. They could bring manure, for example. The results were amazing. Logging, illegal logging in the area where she was active dropped by 69%. Companies today face problems which are not that different from the problems faced by Kirani Webb. They don't know the answers to many of the complex issues that they face and they struggle to motivate and mobilize people around the ideas that they have. The answers are in fact also quite similar to the one that Kirani Webb used. Listen to people, use open work. These have two distinct advantages. By opening up, companies can engage the genius of its employees and bring in fresh ideas to tackle issues like polarization, new competitors, onslaught of technology they don't understand uh, in a way that will be much more sustainable and works better than if just a few executives at the top would engage with that. Secondly, the big advantage is that openness allows people to engage with the more immediate problems that they have. They will figure out how to corporate better, how to collaborate with people in their teams, how to get out the best of everyone working in, in their team, how to solve issues that on the individual level might seem to be complex, but working as a team could actually really work out quite well. Best of it, motivation will go through the roof.